everybody, it's Daphne from Scrap and Crate, and we're working on page seven. Page seven is going to be a pretty simple page. Um, it's fun, but it's going to be pretty simple. I'm starting out with three half inch strips, and we're going to place them on the outside edge and one in the middle. And then after we get these placed, we're going to add some pockets. Now, last time I added the pockets and then tried to slip my uh, little pieces underneath, and I think this is an easier process. So that is what we're going to do. And I just noticed I didn't ink it. I got most of this cut up last night, but it looks like I haven't inked it. <clears throat> Part of the reason this is such a simple page is because the page on the on the flip side, page eight, it has got lots going on and a lot of magnets. So the other thing that's happening on this page is no magnets. <clears throat> Just pockets. <clears throat> okay, and again, these are half half inch strips. I'm going to set the middle one aside because I'm going to mark it. Okay, I was just checking the orientation to make sure I've got it going the right way. And then I also just had a small panic attack that I had to hit the record button, but I have. Okay, so we're going to find the center. <clears throat> which should be, I've got this upside down, five and a half. Here we go. Five and a half, five and a half. So I'm going to put, there's my center line, and I know I'm putting down a half inch strip, so I'm going to put um, a line on either side so I know that's where it goes. I'm going to do the same thing up here. And that'll just help me get my pockets in straight. <clears throat> So if you don't have a Tim Holtz ruler, what you're going to do is mark it at five and a quarter, five and a quarter mark it, five and a quarter mark it, and then you'll have that half inch gap. And that's where you're going to put your strip. <clears throat> Did I mention this is page seven? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> We're on page seven. All right, let's get some glue on this. Gosh darn it. All right. Now I'm gonna turn it sideways so I can see if I'm getting it centered top to bottom. Okay, now before we do anything else, we're gonna verify that we've got it going the right direction. And I turned it all the way around, so I'm glad I checked. We're going to apply pockets to the bottom. So there's going to be a pocket here, and you can see how it slightly overlays these two bands. And then there's going to be a pocket here. Okay, these pockets are five and three quarters by six. 
So five and three quarters across, six inches tall, and you're going to score three out of the four sides. <clears throat> Do that one more time. <clears throat> Pardon me. And this is just going flush with the bottom of the page. <clears throat> okay. Now we are going to have two inserts. And I put these together not thinking about doing the tutorial. I don't know what was going on. They're going to slip into these pockets, so they're rather large. So I'm going to tell you what I did, but I'm not going to actually show you. So you can see there's a score and a hinge here. This piece is eight and a half, score at half inch, and this piece is seven and you're going to make a bifold. You're going to do two of those. Okay, so we have two of those, so each pocket is going to have one of these large bifolds. So again, the bottom piece is eight and a half. You're going to score it half inch. The top piece is seven, and you're going to attach it to that hinge. And I forgot to tell you the width. It's four and a half inches wide. So eight and a half by four and a half, scored half inch, and then seven by four and a half. <clears throat> All right. Now I gotta think a little bit about what what my plans were. I think this is what I was doing. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna have a little bit of a gap here and I don't have a lot more of this paper. I'm gonna check real quick to see if I have a piece big enough so I don't have to color block because there's gonna be a lot going on in this page, but I don't think I do. <clears throat> nope, I don't. So what I am going to do is, and I had already prepped these, is put um, a strip across the top of the pockets. So I'm gonna start by laying that down. I guess I can leave this here and that helps me see the edge a little bit better. And uh, it looks like I need to trim it. <clears throat> so, let's see if that's enough. A little more. Okay. There we go. I guess that's another option. I didn't even think about the flip side. Let's look at it and see. And then this is what's actually going to be in the pocket sticking out. What do you guys think? So that's option one, option two. And then on the very top we're going to have this. So that's what it's going to look like. <clears throat> 
I like the blue. You know what? I think I over trimmed that. That's nah, okay. Hey, Noah. Hi, sugar. Oh, you're warm. You must have been out in the sun. It's very warm today here in San Diego. I'd say it's it's not even noon and it's in the 80s. That's pretty toasty. <clears throat> okay, and now we need to shorten it. Pardon me. <clears throat> okay, we're going to repeat that process. Now we need to take something off the height. <clears throat> I hate it when I do that. Okay. Mark it and then I put it on the trimmer and I can't see it. <clears throat> thing we'll do is we'll lay down the um, pocket liner I do. Looks good.
That looks, looks good. I like it. Okay, we're going to do the same thing one more time. And I'm marking it on the top and the bottom because there's always a chance that these didn't go in perfectly straight. And this gives me a chance to um, trim it so that it, it, it looks straight whether it is or not. Now it turns out when I laid the first one in, they were actually uh, pretty right angled, but you never know. And this one too. So it looks like I did get these in pretty straight, but it doesn't always work out that way. <clears throat> I meant to leave the leading edge without glue. I just have to be careful. Good, there it is. Okay, isn't that pretty? I think it even looks pretty without anything in it. <laughs> I was tempted to actually make these two door folds, but I don't think I have enough paper. So I'm gonna keep it simple and we still have to do one more page. Okay, now our inserts, I'll set this aside, our inserts. So um, we're gonna pull that pocket pattern back in. Oops, that goes on the other side. And it's gonna be the top of the insert. <clears throat> and I think I've got these trimmed, yeah. They just need to be inked. <clears throat> And this is going to go on the seven inch piece and it needs to be trimmed down just a little. I actually over trimmed these. Shoot. Let's see if I've got any more. I don't think I do. I don't. That's all the yellow I've got. Uh, I'm going to have to make it work. That's disappointing guys. hate it when that happens. Yep, we're going to have to make it work. I must have been tired when I was doing this one. So you can see that the border is much wider, but I'm going to use it anyways. But guys, uh, measure twice, cut once. <clears throat> um, I could have, if I hadn't glued this down, I could have just trimmed this whole thing and made it a little bit narrower, taking like a sixteenth of an inch off and I would have been okay. But, live and learn. I should have checked it before I glued my first strip in. did. Okay, that's the right height. So I'm still hemming and hawing if that's going to bother me <clears throat> because there is another solution and that would be to turn this inside out and trim, trim the whole thing down a little bit. So let me see. I think I'm just going to go with what I have, but you guys might want to be careful as you're trimming yours. And I, I always point out when I've made a mistake because I want you guys to um, benefit from from that. <clears throat> so I'm just going to center it, and it's just going to be a little bit wider than the border is going to be a little wider than I had uh, anticipated. Okay. <clears throat> okay. There's one.
<clears throat> Pardon me, I'm sorry guys. <clears throat> Okay, now I'm going to put, I think I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to use two pieces of chipboard. I need something simple though. <clears throat> I'm going to use the Sea of Wonders. And because I'm using two DCEs, I've got two packages of chipboard. So I'm going to take one from each pack. And if you, if you do this album, you definitely need two DCEs. Sorry, the stickers. The stickers were behind it. Okay. And then um, I'm going to install it like this so that the front panel is going to tuck slightly behind um, the chipboard piece and hold it closed. And again, it's a no magnet page. We did it. We did it. <clears throat> it's a little more glue than I need. And that's about center. We're going to repeat that process. Give that a second to dry. I put a little piece of tape on the back of this because I wanted to save the um, centerpiece. <clears throat> but I'm probably going to take it off when I glue it down. <clears throat> well, I was going to, but it's wanting to come out. So I'm just going to trim it off. And then I'll just put glue on top of that, the whole thing. <clears throat> and I'm using my grid to get it centered. Oops, I forgot to ink it. I could see that right away. The edges are very bright. Okay. One more time. Okay, so um, you know you can open it up and tuck it under. Now I may actually line these, but at the moment um, I'm not sure I have enough paper. <clears throat> so we're just going to put them in as is. <clears throat> and call it finished for page seven. What do you guys think? I like it. I think that turned out fun. I might do this again in another book and then actually make these two doors that open. Um, and I'm not sure I might have been able to do that, but I honestly am not sure. I still have one whole page to do. And then I have two very eight by 10 inserts I still have to cover. So there's still a lot of ground to cover. I'm not sure I would have had enough to cover the front and back of these. so But I'm really happy with the way they turned out as is. And because they're four and a half inches wide, you can easily get a four by six um, photos on the inside and outside of these inserts. And you could put another photo here. And I'm probably gonna do some embellishing on this spot. I've um, With the yellow papers, I trimmed out some um, of the sayings. I think they look kind of neat, so I might do some sort of a little collage um, 
with some of these cut aparts. But I'm not going to do that right now, and I'll probably just show you what I've done in the walkthrough like I normally do. Um, a lot of that level of detail is very specific to your taste, and also you may want to preserve this space for photos. So if you put a bunch of embellishments on it, it's a little hard to do that. So, okay, everybody, thanks for watching. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. I hope you like this new page idea. I'm pretty happy with it. And I'll be back soon, and we'll continue working on the album.